่กูตรวจกระเป๋าทุกคนตอนเช้าเอาตะกร้ามาฝากกันเลยคนมายืมของเพื่อนก่อนคนเล่มนั้นเลย page 25 on page 25 there was the last exercise that we done at the top of the page you will see there are objects what is this one come on what is it a coin this one a string this They put these four objects in front of the child. If the child chooses the book, if the child goes to the book, what will be their future? What will be in their future? If the child chooses the book, what will be their future? Come on. They will be... You will be ready They, the child, right. If they choose the book, they will be very clever. What happens if they choose the rice cake? You will always have lots of food. They will always have lots of food. Look, listen to my use of word. Listen to my use of the correct word here. They, the child, they, because we are uncertain of which child it is. So, if they choose the string, what will be in their future? Ah, uh, not you, they. They will have a long life. And if they choose the coin, what will be in their future? They, they, they will be rich. So, if the child chooses the coin, they will be rich. Now, we are going to listen to part two. I'm just going to recap with part one of the listening. For the listening, guys, I would like you to clap once. Clap twice. Clap three times. Hold your arms. Stop playing with anything. And don't talk to your friends next to you. And listen to the listening tape. Track 13. Part 1. We have a special custom in Korea. When a child is one year old, we have a birthday party with lots of food. The child wears special, very colorful clothes. We put some things on the table in front of the child. A coin, a long piece of string, a rice cake, and a book. We wait to see which thing the child chooses. If the child chooses the coin, they will be rich. If they choose the string, they will have a long life. If they choose the rice cake, they will always have lots of food. If they choose the book, they will be very clever. All right. So that's listening part one. And then you see in uh, number four, number four just below that, it says, can we read that together? What does number four say? What now? One, two, three, come on. Now, listen to... Let's start again. One, two, three. Now, listen to part two. What did Jong Min choose? What did Jong Min choose? Track 14. Part 2. When Yong Min was little, he was a very good baby. 
but sometimes he got very cross. When Yong Min was one year old, we had a party. Yong Min was very cross that day. He wasn't very happy. He didn't smile and he didn't eat the lovely food. We put the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book in front of him. At first, he didn't choose anything. Then he grabbed all the things. <laughs> the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book. Okay, we're going to re listen to it the second time and then you tell me what happened at your means um, birthday party. Track 14. Listen. Part two. Don't play. Listen. When Yong Min was little, he was a very good baby. But sometimes he got very cross. When Yong Min was one year old, we had a party. Yong Min was very cross that day. He wasn't very happy. He didn't smile and he didn't eat the lovely food. We put the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book in front of him. At first, he didn't choose anything. Then, he grabbed all the things. <laughs> the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book. So what, did that, what happened at Yong Min's uh, birthday party? What did he choose? What did he choose? Did he choose the coin, or the string, or the rice cake, or the book? What did he choose? We're going to listen to it the third time. I'm seeing students handing somebody else a ruler, exchanging pencils, playing with their erasers, talking to each other, looking at each other, laughing at each other. Yanaton, please, this is a listening. Let's clap our hands again. Once. Again. Once. Twice. Three times. Fold your arms. Put everything out of your fingers. Take everything out of your fingers. Sit up straight and listen to what the baby chooses. This is a listening, so no talking. Track 14, part two. When Yong Min was little, he was a very good baby. But sometimes he got very cross. When Yong Min was one year old, we had a party. The young man was very cross that day. He wasn't very happy. He didn't smile and he didn't eat the lovely food. We put the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book in front of him. At first, he didn't choose anything. Then, he grabbed all the things. <laughs> the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book. So what did Yong Min choose? All the things. Thank you very much. Everybody, clap your hands. So that successful listening. To listen to English, we have to be quiet and we have to concentrate on the listening. Okay, so now after this, what did Yong Min choose? We are going to write in our book. So take a pen and write in your book. I'm going to use my text to mark up here. Shows everything. Please write it in your book. Next to number four. Number four. Next to number four, wrote, write what I put on the board in red. Next to number four, Yong Min 
shows everything. Next to number four, write your answer. Write your answer. In the middle section, write your answer. Next to number four, it's almost in the middle of the page. <coughs> just write it next to the just write it next to the question. Okay. Sort of squish it in there like I do. Now we have to look at our use of English. How we use English. Young Min is asking his grandmother about his first birthday party. When do you think this happens? How old is Young Min when he asks grandmother about his party? When he says, Grandmother, what happened at my party? How old is Young Min? One year? Yes. One year. One year. Can you speak when you are one year old? Even your own language? No, it's a first birthday party. So, it's a few years after. The time that he is sent in is a few years after his first birthday party. Match John means questions with his grandmother's answers. So now we have listening number three in this section. Again, I'm going to let you look at Jongin and Jongin's grandmother and um, what they say. You can just put it on the board here for us. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm hearing people starting up conversations again and I don't like it. Cut it out immediately. I said immediately. Right. So, we have Yongmi and Yongmi's grandmother. Column A and column B. Classic question. You know how to answer this. So, the first sentence. Let's read together. Everybody. Put your finger in the air. Put your finger in the air. And put your finger where the word where is. Where. Okay. So let's start reading. One, two, three. Were, were there many people at my party? And then second question. Was my grandfather at my party? Sit up straight, please. Were my cousins at my party? Was there any ice cream at my party? Was I happy? Let's look at the answers. No, there wasn't any ice cream. I need everybody. Hands up in the air. Point with your finger. Point your finger where you see the word no in your book. I want to see you follow. Stop playing. Stop playing with that and point with your finger. Put it away. Point with your finger. Where you have the word no and let's go. One, two, three. No, there wasn't any ice cream. Louder. No, there wasn't any ice cream. Next one. Yes, they were. Next one. No, you were very cross. Yes, he was. There were seven people. Now, everybody put your hands up in the air and roll, 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 roll. Up, above your head, above your head. Clap, 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 snap, clap, snap, hold your arms. Hold your arms, put away the ruler. Now, Unit 14, Part 2. Listen. When Yongmin was little, he was a very good baby. But sometimes he got very cross. When Yongmin was one year old, we had a party. Yongmin was very cross that day. He wasn't very happy. 
He didn't smile and he didn't eat the lovely food. We put the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book in front of him. At first he didn't choose anything. Then he grabbed all the things. <laughs> the coin, the string, the rice cake and the book. Just take the right track here, see if you have a problem. It's listening number 15, right? Says number 15 in the book. 14, it can only be 15. Alright. Were there many people at my party? There were seven people. Was my grandfather at my party? Which one can we match it with? Which one can we, we match it with? What's the answer? Come on. I'm looking for an answer here. Grandfather is? Grandfather is? Come on, come on. Grandfather is? Is it he, she, it, we, they? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Thank you very much. So you link it like I'm doing on the board. Can you see it? Do it in your book now. Were my cousins at my party? No, no, you were in the book. No. Were my cousins at my party? Cousin, the family member. Yes, they were. Cousins, they. So we're looking for this word, they. Was there any ice cream at my party? No, there wasn't any ice cream. No, there wasn't any ice cream. Was I happy? No, you were very cross. No, you were very cross. Cross means to be unhappy or mad at something. To be unhappy or mad at something. Now, I want you to take out your birthday cards. Did you make your birthday cards? Please take out your birthday card and put it in the middle of your book. Please take out your birthday card and put it in the middle of your book.
Okay, guys, we are going to pace this, but not now. Put away this, let's continue. We can't spend time on this. Let's look at other questions that we can ask. Other questions that we can ask. Okay, dear students, at the end, please sit down. Don't come to me, don't go to your friends, sit down. The session is being recorded. So if you want mom and dad to see you walk around in the classroom, do it now. Guys, did you hear what I said? The session is recorded. This video will be on Facebook, so mom and dad can see what you're doing in class, okay? So, watch it. Guys, at the bottom of that page, number six, there are some other questions. Was there a cake? Were you happy? Were there many people? The most important thing to remember is the verb to be here. What is our verb to be in the past tense? Verb to be. Please turn to the front. Don't look at your friend at the back. Teachers here. Stop what you're doing right now and concentrate on this. Your words. Verb to be. Guys. Was. And were. Was and were. In the present tense, is, am, or are. In the past tense, when something has already happened, like your first birthday party, we use was and were. I want you to encircle it with pen. Encircle. So, you just do what I do on the board at the moment, which is was. And circle was, and circle were, guys, your conversation is being recorded, do you not mind, there's a phone there, it's recording you speaking in Thai in the classroom, stop it now. Do what I'm doing at the bottom of the page. Take your pen and circle your verb to be, which is was and were. Was and were. Your singing is also being recorded. Come on, guys. Cut it out. You are not two years old. Now, what other questions can be asked about a party? We can ask, were there musicians? Write it in your book. Were there musicians? How do we end a question? With a question mark. Alex? Oh, you haven't got your share in the book there. Okay. What other questions can we ask about a birthday party? Form a question was or were. Was or were about your birthday party. Do you want to ask your mum or your grandmother about your first birthday party? What would you ask? How would you ask it? Start your sentence with was or were. What can you ask? Ask about presents. How would we ask about presents? Can I talk? With it, presents. Not music. Presents. Gifts. Presents. Yeah. Gifts. How would you ask that? Where? Where? Were there? Were there? Were there any? Any. Were there anyone? Any. Were there 
any presents? Were there any presents? Ask about your friends. Ask about your friends. Same type of question. Same type of question. Same format. Ask about your friends. Ask about your friends. How do we form the question? Come on, give me an answer. How do we ask about our friends? If our friends were there. Were there? Were there? Uh, friends. Were there any friends? Of mine? At the party. Right? We're finished with presents. We're finished with music. Right? So, were there any friends of mine? Okay. Everybody, everybody in your book? You should be working with us, not sleeping. Come on, work with us. When I do something in red on the projected board, you are, you are very good today. You're actually on time. Very good, Kitty Pat. Very good over here. Middle section, have you got the answers in the book? That's it. Going very well. Except for the homework. Let me just remind you again. That's what the picture looks like, guys. I want you to decorate that shark and make it look nice, okay? Make it look beautiful, the card, the birthday card that we're making. There are the sentences. Finish up. I'm going to start counting from five. Five. Touch your knee. 
Where's your knee? Your knee's over here. Guys that touch the earth, this is your nose. Listen. Listen actively. Track 15. Hi, I'm Maria. It was my birthday yesterday, and my brothers too. We were not... Guys, I'm seeing people are not following. Put down the sharp card. Put away the savings box. Put away pens, pencils that you're playing with. Open on the right page. Okay. Hands in the air, fingers pointing. Fingers pointing. Stop. This is not a salon. Fingers pointing. Point where you see. Hi, I'm Maria. Finger pointing. Hi, I'm Maria. Finger pointing now. Hi, I'm Maria. Finger pointing. Everybody's finger. I'm going to wait until I see everybody's finger pointing. Book flat on the table, please. Don't hide behind the table, please. Okay. Finger. Right. Now follow. One, two, three, here it comes. Track 15. What? Hi. What? I'm Maria. It was my birthday yesterday, and my brothers too. We were nine years old. We had a wonderful birthday party. Lots of our friends came, and my grandparents were there too. There was a piñata at our party. A piñata is a cardboard container with sweets or toys inside. It's usually in the shape of an animal or a star. It's decorated in beautiful colors. Our piñata was in the shape of a donkey. Hey, let's re listen to it again. Read and follow. I don't see the fingers following. Guys, one, two, three. Fingers. Hi, I'm Maria. Point. Point. Point with your finger. Point with your finger. Alex, in your book. Point with your finger. Point. Put down. Point with your finger. Point with your finger in your book and let's go. Track 15. Hi. I'm Move Maria. your finger. It was my birthday yesterday and my brothers too. We were nine years old. We had a wonderful birthday party. Lots of our friends came and my grandparents were there too. There was a piñata at our party. A piñata is a cardboard container with sweets or toys inside. It's usually in the shape of an animal or a star. It's decorated in beautiful colors. Our piñata was in the shape of a donkey. Okay. Guys, when you're having a conversation behind my back, you're not wasting my time, you're wasting your own time. You're the ones who have to learn English. I already know it. Okay? And then moving your finger around like this, that is not reading. I know where we are in the text. I've been teaching for 15 years. Do not insult my intelligence. You will not get away with any tricks in my classroom. If I say follow, you follow. Understood? Yes or no? Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Good. Now, what do we know about Maria and her brother? It was their birthday party. On the same day. It was their birthday party on the same day. So what are they? Why do we call people that have their birthday party on the same day? Nice try. Nice try. At least you're trying. Children that are born on the same day. Two children that are born on the same day. Maria and your brother, yes, that's a nice try, but why don't you call people in, in general? People in general. 
How does he go? Ever heard of the word twins? Twins. They are twins. What are they? They are twins. What are they? They are twins. What are twins? What are twins? What are twins? People that are born on the same day. What are twins? People are born on the same day. People who are born on the same day. And they had a lovely birthday party. What was at their birthday party? What was at their birthday party? Pinata. A piñata. Everybody say piñata. A piñata. A piñata. In your book, you will see a picture of a donkey that is painted in rainbow colors. I will put it up on the board quickly. All right. So. This is the piñata. It is usually in the shape of a star or any animal. But at their birthday party, it was in the shape of a donkey. Donkey, thank you. Now, act number two, put away third time. Act number two, please write the answer. How do you get the sweets from a piñata? How do you get the sweets from a piñata? Track 15 Hi, I'm Maria. It was my birthday yesterday, and my brothers too. We were nine years old. We had a wonderful birthday party. Lots of our friends came, and my grandparents were there too. There was a piñata at our party. A piñata is a cardboard container with sweets or toys inside. It's usually in the shape of an animal or a star. It's decorated in beautiful colors. Our piñata was in the shape of a donkey. Then the children can eat the sweets. 
Number two on page 26. Number two on page 26. Number two on page 26. Yes, number two. You're, you're up to date. I'm, I'm happy with your performance today. Very good. Very good classroom today. Very good. You're staying with us. I'm Middle section. How's it going here? How are things here? Hey. Right. Okay. Now, do you know about something here? Okay. You want to try it? All the girls together. Start with, start with March. March. What comes after March? April. What is two months before March? Two months before March. Two months before. 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 Born, Not after. Born. March. February. January. Very good. Very, very good. Guys, let's quickly sing a song. One, two, three. Before we go, I need everybody to clap. January, February. One, two, three. January, February, March, and April, May. June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March and April, May. June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, November, December. These are the months of the year. Thank you, class.